What is going on guys? So today we're back with another Pokemon Masters video and today we actually need to go through and do some co-op water type training events. So as you can see here we do have good old Flint. We are going to quick connect here as our big boss here. So I pretty much am okay with running uh, Chris and Hilbert here. I don't really know what we should use as our third spot. I think I would feel more comfortable going Barry over Cybul just because I've used Barry more and I feel like I would be a little bit more comfortable with him. But we are going to try this out. Going straight in with Chris. Definitely going to feel uh, pretty secure in this first match here. We do get a Misty and another Chris, so should make pretty quick work of this. Hopefully. I always say that and then we end up just getting kicked right in the ass. So let's try this. Uh huh. And Misty brought Barry inside. Okay, so not, not a horrible start here. Uh, we are going to do one pick up the pace. I am going to do an X attack. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Wonder how deep I want to go on the X attacks. Do I do both? I'm probably going to do both because this is going to be the first level of the co-op stuff. It's not going to be insanely difficult. So let's go ahead and get both of these out of the way. And then we'll do our good old Mega Kick. And whatever order this other for alligator wants to go in, I am A-OK -okay with that. It looks like the, the Starmie does want to go for the Torkoal there. Um, so I guess we'll just all target the Torkoal. It looks like what we're doing anyways, so... Lowered that accuracy, but we sure, we do have a sure hit here. I feel like my Mega Kick was a little bit wasted there. Unfortunately, I, uh... Only did a tad bit of damage where I feel like we could have done a little bit more on something else, but that's all good. Uh, gonna pick up the pace and go for this next Mega Kick here, hopefully. Interesting. I kind of wanted to get rid of the Infernape. I feel like that would have been a worthwhile investment, but, you know, all good. My, uh, my Mega Kick should actually finish it off. Yeah, unfortunately his Mega Kick missed. Oh no, just barely missing. Oh man, that is going to hurt. And we don't get the Unity... Mm. Okay, going to have to tank this uh, Sync move here. I was really hoping we would get Inferno out of the way so we wouldn't have to worry about it, but it's all good. Is he going to kill? No, not even close. All right, let this guy waste his Mega Kick. Watch me miss mine now. All right, Inferno goes down. And looks like, oh, no. I was going to say it looks like it's going through, but it definitely didn't. All right. The Bubble Beam. Nice. Nice, we ended up getting it there, so easy peasy. Usually the first co-op is pretty easy, so no complaints there. Now, though, we get into the difficult section. Like, if we can get three Chris's, I, I would be, like, ecstatic. What do you got for us? Okay, I, I will take an Olivia and a Chris. That's, that's a really good start. Uh, the Olivia can push a lot of neutral damage to a ton of other things, and the, the other Chris and myself can hopefully... Do some super effective damage. Um, I do kind of want to go for the Torkoal first. Let's get rid of the Torkoal. Um, let's go for this. Pick up the pace, of course. And we will go with two X attacks. Actually, I kind of want to go with one because I have a feeling we might end up needing it after uh, we end up having a problem with the sync move because I know that sync move is going to happen. So I kind of want to save an X attack just for safety purposes so if we can get this X attack out of the way I'm gonna start doing these these mega kicks here we do have one that's a guaranteed I don't know if I should save a pick up the pace for uh, later as well or if I should go ahead and use it hmm they've done a pretty good chunk Let's hope this Mega Kick actually connects. Let's hope we don't miss. I don't have a sure hit. Ooh, that was a pretty good kick. Oh, barely. Barely. I'm going to go for a Waterfall. 
Oh man. Oh, I actually got got out of that one. Okay, nice. So it's gonna default back to Infernape. Yeah. Uh, we do want to take out this Rampardos, I believe. Would probably be the more beneficial one. Uh, I do like the Unity bonus there. We are gonna go try to get some moves in before he queues up the Sync move. I don't feel like we're gonna have enough to get the Unity attack. Hopefully, this Mega Kick actually connects. The other guy did a pick up the pace, which seems like it was kind of a waste at this point. Um, and he avoided mine. So, yeah, unfortunately, we are going to take some good damage here. Come on, don't kill. Don't kill. It's gonna do a bit. Ooh, not too bad, not too bad. So let's go ahead and do, uh, oh, I already have a Mega Kick queued up, so. <sighs> okay, he does have a Chris in the back. I like it. Uh, I do want to do a pick up the pace. And I'm not being targeted right now. Kind of worries me that the other for alligator is going to die. Oh, he endured. Okay, I forgot we had endurance. That's nice. And he does swap over to the healthy one. Nice. I am barely making it out right now. Can we uh, can we attack together, guys? Ooh. All right, get this X attack out of the way, and I am going for the Mega Kick. I'm gonna save the Sync move. Um, I want to use it. Okay. <laughs> now I look like a dumbass because I was hitting. <laughs> I said attack together, and then I hit the the Rampardos, but. Let's get this out of the way. Hopefully this Mega Kick does some good damage. Just barely. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually, no, I'm gonna endure this. I should endure it. Nice, and then that, that sync move, Water Pulse, this should, yeah, this should be the end. Yeah, nice. So we actually made it out pretty good. We had some decent teammates there. I, I really, really am proud of us. You guys. So. That is a wrap on the water type training event, guys. These are, as we know, these are, you know, usually just quick little events. They're nothing crazy. Uh, the only thing left to really do at this point for me is to go through and actually grind out all of the gems associated because we do actually have some decent gem rewards now. Um, they're not amazing, but they are definitely good. Um, once you get into uh, actually finishing these uh, small little things, once you finish it three times, as you can see, you can get uh, 50 gems again, and then once you finish it 20 times, you can actually get 300 gems. So I am I am well okay with that. That is a decent amount of reward. Uh, along the way, you do get all the vouchers. Usually, you get enough vouchers to actually purchase a couple of things in the shop. You may have to grind out just a little bit more to complete all of them. Um, but I mean, the gem notes. I usually just go for gem notes and the replay ticket, anyways. Um, and then whatever I have left over, I usually dump into the coins. So it's usually not something too insane. I don't feel the need to really exchange for like TMs or these manuals or any of the drinks. They're just, they're just not as much use to me. I don't want to spend my hard earned vouchers on that. So, but that is actually going to be it. Let's go ahead and we will do a quick sync pair scout here. Uh, we're just going to do the daily discount. We're not going to try to be spending too much gems. Uh, after a big payout recently, I am trying to uh, conserve as much as I can because I'm trying to now save up and probably going to have to buy gems for the next big sync pair. But either way, let's go ahead and throw this down. We only need one more four star. Uh, we are on the hunt for Rosa Roserade. I about said Roserelia. Uh, Roselia. Oh my god, I can't talk. And then we do also need a couple of five stars. You have four star doors! Yeah! What is the odds, dude? Gardenia and Roserade. I just, I literally spoke you guys into existence. How freaking awesome. So that actually completes all the four stars. Dude, we are so close to finishing all of the sync pairs, guys. We literally only have a few left. But that is actually going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out. Thanks so much for watching. Always remember that if you want to join the Discord, it is actually down in the description below. Uh, but until our next video on Pokemon Masters, actually, it's till tomorrow, because these are daily videos now. So, until tomorrow.
I will catch you guys then. All right? And see. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, always remember that if you like to like videos, you could do that. But if you don't, you could be that guy. Otherwise, uh, let me know what you have to say down in the comments below about the video. I do highly appreciate you guys watching. If you guys want to support me in any way, there are several links down in the description for Patreon, uh, joining the community here on YouTube, or even just directly PayPal if that's your thing. I greatly appreciate everyone's name that's on screen as you guys have showed some sort of support outside of just viewing the videos. And I thank you guys, you, you don't understand from the bottom of my heart. So until our next video guys, I will catch you then.